Okay, so in this question we have a bat. He is travelling at 5 metres per second. And we have some flying insect here travelling at, let's call it V insect. Now, he emits a, the bat emits a pulse with a frequency of 40 kilohertz and then receives a signal back with a frequency of 40.4 kilohertz. Should be a point zero. Now, this question is actually a bit harder than it looks. We're going to need to solve it in two parts. First of all, we'll need to consider what's the frequency of the sound reflected off the insect, and then we'll need to consider that reflected pulse and work out what frequency is then detected back by the bat. Okay, so the frequency of the reflected pulse. In this case, our bat is acting as our source and our insect is acting as our observer. So we have got the velocity is 343. Our observer is moving away from our source. So we have minus V insect. And now our bat, our source, is moving towards our observer. So this is minus the velocity of the bat times the frequency. And this is the frequency emitted by the source. So that's the reflected wave. So now we consider this reflected wave as our source and work out what's the bat actually going to hear. So in that case, F dash will be. Okay, so we've got 343. Now, in this case, our bat is our observer and it is moving towards the reflective wave. So we'll have a plus the velocity of the bat. And the insect is the source of the reflective wave. So that's 343. Now, in this case, the insect, the source of the reflected sound is moving away from the bat. And so instead of having a negative here, we end up with a positive. So V insect here. Okay, and that's times the reflected. This is the Doppler equation on the reflected pulse. So now what we can do is we can substitute in this expression into here, and we end up with 343 plus V bat, which is the 5, over 343 plus V insect, over 343 minus the velocity of the insect, over 343 minus the velocity of the bat times F, which is the 40.0 kilohertz, and that is equal to 40.4 kilohertz. So now we have an equation which is a little bit difficult to solve, but there's only one unknown, the velocity of the insect in this equation, so it's perfectly possible. So dividing this 40.4 by the 40, and solving for 343 plus 5 over 343 minus 5, we end up with 1.01 .01 is equal to 1.02958 times the 343 minus the velocity of the insect over 343 plus the velocity of the insect. And then just rearranging this, and moving all the terms with the velocity insect over to one side, we end up with the velocity of the insect is equal to 3.31 meters per second. I'll leave that algebra as a little task for you to try. And so that is the velocity of this insect. Now part B asked us, is, it, is the bat going to catch the insect? Well, the bat's going at 5 metres per second towards the insect who's running away from it, and he is gaining on the insect. So yes, he will eventually catch the insect. Okay, and that's the end of this lecture.